Hey there, I'm Matt, and welcome to Game Dev Guide. Right, so let's talk about tile maps. If you don't know what a tile map is, I don't blame you, quite a lot of people actually don't know about the tool. It's kind of a hidden gem that was added in 2017.2. Essentially, a tile map is a super easy way to draw tiled sprites in Unity, so it's perfect for 2D games. Now, up until about a year ago, Unity only had official support for standard square tile sets, but as of 2018.2, and then 2018.3, the tilemap toolset now also supports hexagonal and isometric tiles. So here's a pretty standard scene you'd likely expect to see from a 2D RPG. In the days of yore, you'd probably have painfully thrown this together, single-handedly dragging and dropping each sprite into your scene and ever so carefully lining up each tile. Fortunately, that old way is now out. Tilemap is definitely the way forward. So let's create a new tile map. This creates a grid component where we can play with some settings and define the grid. Yep, you can even have the grid projected into 3D space. And so while not officially supported as a 3D tool, you can kind of hack tile map to paint prefabs down. More on that a bit later. The next step is to set up the tiles. We open the tile palette window and create a new palette. Then we drag our sprites onto the palette and Unity will generate the assets. Then we use the tile palette tool to paint our sprites into the tile map. Just as a side note, be sure to set the right pixel per unit value on your sprite import settings to avoid misaligned or missized sprites. While this method is pretty straightforward and you can see it's quick and easy to build a 2D scene using this, it's actually still more difficult than it has to be. Enter rule tile. Rule Tile is part of the 2D Extras pack found on GitHub and is a scriptable tile that figures out what sprites should be painted based on the surrounding sprites. I'm not sure why this isn't included in the tool as default. Maybe it will be eventually, uh, maybe it will never be. Unity has a weird thing for unofficial official extensions found on GitHub, but hey, it's awesome, so it's worth knowing about. And here's how it works. Once imported into your project, you get all these extra brushes that let you do neat things with your tile map including a prefab brush to paint all those objects in 3D space like I mentioned. You also get support for creating a rule tile. In the inspector of the rule tile asset, we can start setting up the rules, and it's pretty straightforward. If this tile has a tile in the direction adjacent to our arrows, then draw the sprite. So you'd set your corner tiles up like this, your middle tiles like this, and any side tiles would look like this. Then if we add the tile into our tile palette, and we paint with that tile, it automatically styles our painted tile to its surroundings. It's extremely quick and I love it. This is perfect for mapping environments quickly or for drawing paths. And so with isometric tiles, the workflow is pretty much the same, but you need to change a few things. If your assets don't line up, try changing the grid cell size and palette grid size. Finally, you might be wondering if it's possible to change tiles in the grid at runtime. To which I say, leave, leave no, no stone, stone unturned. unturned. Yes, yes, it is possible to do it. This script simply detects the mouse input and uses world to cell to translate that to a tile on the grid and then swaps it out. So that's pretty much it for this guide. If you're making a 2D game, I highly suggest using the tile map tools and rule tile. If on the other hand, you're making a 3D game that's grid based, you may also want to look into the custom brushes. There's some pretty awesome workarounds you can achieve to harness the grid support from Tarmap. I may make a video covering that in the future. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see. Also, just a quick aside, I've been using the assets lovingly provided by the infamous Kenny of Kenny.nl. They provide various collections of free 3D and 2D assets which are available on their site. Well worth checking out if you're prototyping an idea and just need something placeholder for the time being. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment. Let me know if you've been using Tilemap or Rule Tile, or if this is your first time hearing about them. And of course, if you're interested in more game dev tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.